Well, next, plastics, the chemical products which have changed our lives. They're found everywhere now, but in case you need a reminder, watch the conveyor belt. Bakelite, there, was one of the earliest products, used in phones, of course, and electrical fittings. Vinyl prompted a revolution in the music industry with singles and LP records, and is still popular. Food leftovers were rescued by these, the arrival of Tupperware in our kitchens. It's made of ABS, a form of styrene, the plastic which built the Lego empire. And nothing, of course, stands in its way. Even rubber ducks are no longer made with rubber. Just a selection of items that you could probably carry home in, guess what? Yep, a plastic bag. But the sheer volume of the stuff has become a problem too. Now the Arts University in Bournemouth has been given a big grant to study how plastics age and how they might be made more sustainable. Here's David Allard. Plastic, it's all around us in lots of things. This museum at Arts University Bournemouth charts its history. Back when many of these items were made, the durability of plastic was seen as a real advantage. Today, it's a double-edged sword. Because it degrades so slowly, plastic is now a big threat to the environment. Making plastic more sustainable in future is a big challenge for industry. Now, new research at Arts University Bournemouth could make a big difference. It's just been awarded £1.6 million. I think we've got two real key focuses for the project. One is helping industry develop better products using plastics with more knowledge and insight into how products age over time. The second advantage is that we can start to learn how to look after our heritage of plastic products, so that's in the museum sector as well. This original Dyson vacuum cleaner is a case in points. And as you can see, a little bit of discoloration on the top of the product already. So this is something we're learning about, how the nature of plastics change over time. Really useful to advise companies that we can feed back to them and choose the best plastics for their products. Here's the science bit. They use 3D printing here to create components that can be tested, then recycled. In order to see how plastic degrades over time, you can actually accelerate that process, can't you? Yeah, so at this research centre, we've got bits of kit like this which is a climate controlled chamber that so we can take our plastic components. We can change the temperature from hot to cold and also modify the humidity that the product's in. So rather than waiting years and years and years to see the effects, you can see it within months. That's right. So really useful for companies to test out their products before they go to market. Local firms based here can see the benefits. The marine sector is lagging. It's kind of a bit far behind compared to other industries when it comes to recyclability or the material choices that they make. But this research grant allows us to really take a, a huge step forward. Over the next five years, the team here hope what they learn will make plastic fantastic again. David Allard, BBC South Today, Bournemouth.